Hi everyone, it's Mr. D from Mr. D Math, and I'm here with a really special guest. I'm so excited. As we're talking about a whole video series in the Learning Center for Bridgeway Academy, the math you need to know, guess who's here with me today? Hey guys, it's Jessica from Bridgeway Academy. Excited to be here with Mr. D. It's so great that we're able to come out, work in different places, and what you may not know is that Jessica and I live in completely different parts of the world, really, but we're here today together in Gulfport, Florida. You need to look on the map. Where's Gulfport, Florida? Totally cool place. And here we are. And again, as you look and see what's happening, we're going to be talking about the math you need to know. So get ready. There's another really great video and exercise for you to work on so you can get it, got it, and go. go. This is Mr. D from Mr. D Math and Jessica from Bridgeway Academy. And this is the math you need to know. In this video, we're going to talk about one of my favorite topics in math, probability. Now, if you see this deck of cards laying right here, we're going to actually play with these cards in just a moment. It's a brand new deck of cards. I just opened it up. And as you can see, everything's in order from the spades to the hearts to the clubs to the diamonds. And we'll talk about the cards in just a moment. So it's a standard deck of 52 cards. But let's talk about this word probability. And what does the word probability actually mean? So you've probably heard about probability before. You've probably worked with it before in your math classes. If you haven't, it's a brand new term. So check this out. Here's what it means. Probability means what is probably going to happen. Now, that's kind of a funny definition for a word like probability, but that really is what it means. What is probably going to happen? And there you see it. Probability is what is probably going to happen. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, Mr. D, you can't use the word probably because it's like probability. You can't define something with itself. Well, think about some words that mean probably. Should, what do you think is going to happen? What should happen? What is most predictable that's going to happen? All those different things, they all mean probability. What is probably going to happen? But we're going to come up with a mathematical equation, and then we're going to test our theory, and you're going to be surprised. Watch this. So here it is as a math equation. Probability is equal to what you want over the total possible. Total possible? Well, what are we talking about here? Well, guess what? This is a deck of 52 cards. So my total possible in this deck of cards is 52. What is it that I want? Well, let's think about that. What do I want? Well, you might be thinking, hmm, well, what would you like to get? Well, there's aces and twos and threes. By the way, if you've never seen a deck of cards here before, there's 52 cards in this deck. You may have heard of those before. There are four suits, and in each suit, you see the cards. They go from one up to a king. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, jack, queen, king, and the one is awesome, also called an ace. So what about this? Well, let's check it out here. So Let's get some ideas about these cards, and we'll come back here. I'm going to move these cards right over here so you can still see them. We're going to shuffle them up in just a moment. Let's talk about this for just a moment. So what do you know about the cards? Well, there's four suits, and so in the cards, we say there are four suits, and of the four suits, there are two black suits. Those are called spades, and the other one is called clubs, and there's two red suits, and the two red suits are called hearts and diamonds. So now we have our four suits, spades, clubs, hearts, and diamonds. But what you may not know is that each of the spades has 13 cards. Each of the clubs has 13 cards. Each of the hearts has, you guessed it, 13 cards. And each of the diamonds, 13 cards. And again, how does that work? Well, from ace, one, all the way up to a king, ace, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, jack, queen, king, 13 cards in each suit. And if you add 13 and 13 and 13 and 13, there's your total, 52. Total what's possible. Okay, so now what we want to do is come up with something here. Let's say, for example, that we'd like to find a king in my deck of cards. So if I notice in here, there's one king of spades, one king of clubs, one king of hearts, and one king of diamonds. So the probability that I could draw a king out of this deck of cards would be four out of the total 52. Now remember, it's what I want over the total. So what do I want? Well, I want a king. There's four kings. So if I turned over all 52 cards, there would be four kings in the deck. But probability is a little different than that because this fraction we can reduce. By the way, you might start to notice how the fraction reduces and see if you can see how that works because think about the four kings in each suit, 13 cards in each suit. What it really means is one out of every 13 is going to be a king. One out of 13, one out of 13, one out of 13, one out of 13. If you reduce this fraction, guess what? It reduces to one over 13. So this is the probability of drawing a king. Okay, so I'm going to write this right here. Draw a king. And the probability to draw a king is 1 out of 13. So what are we going to do? Well, we're going to mix up the cards, and then we're going to see what happens if we turn over 13 cards totally at random. We should get one king. Now you might say, oh my gosh, this is like a magic trick. Well, it's actually a probability trick. So let's check it out. 
So here we go, and I'm going to take these cards, and as you can see, there, there's a king right there, right? So here's all the kings, and look, there's all the diamonds, here's all the clubs, and here's all the hearts, and guess what? There's all the spades. So I'm going to take these, and I'm going to shuffle them up. So watch this. We're going to take them and put them together. We're going to mix them all up. We'll get a good mix here. We'll shuffle them up quite a few times. It's a brand new deck, so as you can see, it doesn't even bend very well, but let me just get these guys all shuffled up, and We'll come in here and make sure you can see that they're shuffled up. I want to see that they're shuffled up. Probably people are watching home want to see that they're shuffled up. There we go. We got a nice little shuffle there. Let's look and see how are they, they look mixed up yet. Well, no, they, oh, those are still kind of together. Let's mix them up some more. Let's take them on here and let's get them on the table here and let's mix them, let's mix them up really good. Let's get them all so they're all mixed up and mixed around. Here we go. All right, let's put them back together here. We'll shuffle them a couple more times, and then we're going to check out our probability. I messed up my little markings here, but we'll fix that in just a moment, too. We'll come back here, and we'll write this down again in just a moment. Check it out again. What are we trying to do? The probability. We want to get a king. Let's shuffle these up really good. You can watch my hands. Here we go. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Okay, and we're going to put these cards all together here, and what I'm trying to do is what? Well, I want to get... 13 cards and out of those 13 cards i want to see how many times i get a king so again what was the idea the probability of a king by the way we say sometimes we say like this we say the probability of a king p of the king is going to be one out of 13. so i should be able to come in take the probability turn over 13 cards and see one king okay so here we go let's take up the cards and here we go are you ready drum roll and turn the cards one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. And well, look at that. How many kings did I get? There it is, right there. I have one king, just like I said I was going to get out of my probability. I got just what I said I was going to get. Now you may be saying, well, does that work all the time? Well, it doesn't work all the time, but probably that's what's going to happen. What should you do? Well, you should get a deck of cards and do a little experiment yourself. See if you can do the same thing and work with the probability. Now, something you'll find about probability, the more times you do it, the more times you're going to keep seeing it's close to 1 out of 13, 1 out of 13, 1 out of 13. Probability is an amazing tool that we use. Okay, so you may be saying, okay, but what if you just wanted to find something different? What Maybe you want to find two or three cards. Well, let's do that as well. Let's try the probability and I'm going to write P of what? A 3, 5, or a 7. Okay, well, now think about here. 1, 3 for every 13. There's 1, 5 for every 13. There's 1, 7 for every 13. So what we say is the probability would be 3 out of 13. What does that really look like? Well, if you wanted to work out the math on it, think about there's four threes in the deck. There's four fives in the deck and four sevens in the deck. Out of the whole entire deck, that's 12 over 52. That's how it works out. 4, 8, 12 over 52. But if you reduce that, both numbers can be divided by 4. And there we go. Both, dividing both by 4, we get our 3 out of 13. There's our probability of getting a 3, 5, or 7. So I'm going to take my cards. Let's shuffle them up one more time. Let's see what's going to happen here when we get them all shuffled nice and neat. And we'll come in and we'll... Let's get them all shuffled nice and neat here, and then we'll come in and we're going to draw 13 cards again like we did before, but this time we're trying to get threes, fives, or sevens. By the way, I could get all threes, all fives, all sevens, but the idea is that in 13 cards, I'm only going to have three. Okay, so here we go. We're going to get ready to do this one more time. Here it comes. Remember what's happening? A three, five, or seven. It doesn't matter if I get three threes, two fives and a three, one seven and two fives. However it looks, it'll be a total of three, either threes, fives, or sevens out of my total of 13 cards. Okay, so I've got my cards. Let's turn them over. 13 cards. Let's see what we've got. Ready, set, go. One, two, there's a five, three, four, five, six. Oh, there's a seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and 13. Okay, let's see. What did we get here? I was trying to find threes, fives, or sevens. I think I got three of them. I got a five. And if I look in here, there's a seven. And if I look in here, there's a five. Well, look at that. It worked out again. Probability at work. I've got three out of 13, just like we said we would do. All right, so now, what's your job? Well, your job is to find out, was it a trick or is it for real? Your job is to find out, how does probability work? I'm going to give you some to practice in your get it, got it, go sections, and your job is to check the probability with your own deck of cards. Have a blast working with this. Check out probabilities and how probabilities actually work. This is the math you need to know. I'm Mr. D, and I'll see you next time.